400 individual medley. The Vietnamese swimmer in lane number four, Vien Nguyen. Her first pool was the canal that ran in front of her home in Vietnam. She's now a captain in the Vietnam People's Army, moved to the Army Sports Center 10 years ago to train, able to see her family only once a week. And as you see there, just missed making the final in Rio. In lane one, Valerie grew a slowing of Guatemala. Rio Olympian was 29th in the 400 free, 22nd in the 800 free, and swimming the IM here. Brooke Zeiger, a junior this year at the University of Minnesota, is in lane two. Both parents, Peter and Whitney, swam at the University of Maine. Monica Gonzalez, born in Mexico City, went to high school in Montreal and a sophomore this year at Texas A&M. This year's NCAA, she was 15th in the 400 IM. Vien Nguyen, a two-time Olympian for Vietnam, both London and Rio. And as Rowdy mentioned, she was ninth in Rio in this event. Brooke Forty, 18 years old, out of Louisville, Kentucky. She's committed to Stanford. She'll be a freshman next year. Her, her abilities are compared to Ella Easton. And in lane six, Bethany Gallett, a junior this year at Texas A&M. She just missed Rio. She was third in the 200 breast in the trials, third in the 400 IM. And Maggie Oresti of Long Beach, New York, 18 years old. She was ninth in the semis of the 200 IM at trials, 18th in the 400. And Mabel Zavaros, the 17 years old from Canada, is in lane eight. On the left of your screen, Brooke Forty. On the right, Bethany Gallant. Although Gallant was so close, Roddy, she came out of the trials more happy than disappointed. Okay, you're on. And that's a great attitude to take when you think about it, Rich, because she was not expected to make the team and to finish that high really gave her a lot of confidence to move into this next quad and know that she can get better. And the fact that Maya Dorado is retired, Elizabeth Beisel is in the twilight of her career. She's got a good chance to move up and make a major international team this summer. Lane one is at the top of your screen, lane eight at the bottom. Mabel Zavaros of Canada going out quickly here in the butterfly leg. And Rod, we've talked about this often, like this race, because there's so many leads, lead changes and get to the strokes where people are better. Yeah, and, and that's where strategy is so important. And, you know, it's tough to have a strategy in the beginning of May when you're talking about a long course season, Rich. These, as I said at the very top of the broadcast, they really are sort of at the crescendo, at the very top of training. So. They are dead dog tired right now, especially these IMers. I talked to Chase Taylor, who we'll see in a little bit in the men's 400 IM a little while ago, and he just kind of epitomized talking about the training he's doing right now and everybody in the pool. It's it's tough to get through this and so tough in the 400 IM. Very few can make mistakes and still do well. Zavaros with a lead of 14,100. She's at the bottom of your screen in lane eight as they are now into the backstroke leg. And Rowdy, we gotta be cognizant of the fact that people aren't as familiar with swimming outside of the Olympics. Swimmers don't always swim their fastest times. They train hard, they train hard, they train hard. Then when they back off that training, what they call taper, that's when they begin to swim faster. Right now they're at the height of that training, so not as many fastest times. Some can do it. Some can consistently swim fast throughout the season. You take a Nathan Adrian, you always can book at him swimming a 48 plus and 100 freestyle, but most really have to say that it's it's sort of like the NBA. I, I look at the NBA in a regular season game, it's not a big deal if the Cleveland Cavaliers don't win because they know they'll be there at the end. And that's sort of like it has to be in swimming in so many different ways. And, and these are the strengths and weaknesses that these swimmers look at right now. You look at Bethany Gallant, really has the second fastest time of anybody else in this field. And she's way back there right now in probably fourth or fifth place. She's in lane six. Zavaros with a 9-100s lead over Brooke Forty with VN win just behind. Brooke Forty in lane five, the daughter of sports writer Pat Forty. And she is just to the left of VN win for the middle of your screen right there. Forty in the dark cap. She was 15th in the 400 IM at the trials last year. Watch Bethany Gallup. Best breaststroker in the field. She'll start to make her move here, but Brooke Forty doing a nice job. You talk about her 
dad, Pat Forty. I know he's at the Kentucky Derby now. Probably found a TV somewhere to watch his daughter swim. Been reading his tweets all day on the Kentucky Derby, which just concluded. I won't give it away in case you're TiVoing it. Okay, I appreciate but that. I just watched it live right before the broadcast began. Was it close? It was no, it wasn't close. So okay. it could be another triple crown winner in the making there. It's Brooke Forty of the United States, Vien Win of Vietnam toward the front here as they come to the final few meters of the breaststroke portion and her transition to freestyle. Bethany Gallup, who was third at the trials in the 200 breast, doing her best to catch up. And it's 40 is going to have the lead by a quarter of a second as they head into the freestyle. Well, Gallup did go from fifth to third, but she really built a huge hole going into this freestyle because really Brooke Forty might be the best freestyler of this group of three leading the pack right now. Very good freestyle. And you think about Stanford. <laughs> And what Greg, Greg Meehan has done, who, by the way, is the head coach of that uh, world championship team this summer, the rich get richer with Brooke Forty heading to Stanford in the fall, as we said earlier. And her abilities have been compared to the Easterns. Yeah, another great all-around swimmer in the world today. And Brooke Forty can do it all and will need to do it all for Stanford if they're going to repeat next year. And Forty taking charge here near the midway point of the final length. And she's got half a body length, maybe a little bit more now on the end win as Brooke Forty, the Louisville, Kentucky native, just 18 years old, is pulling away here in lane five in the 400 IM. Very relaxed swimmer to that. Look at that. Very nice. All the way through. Complete control. Never panicked at all. Halfway into the race. Really just a nice, smooth swim for her to give her a lot of confidence as we head to the trials in a little over 50 days. Lakeside swim team is her club team, coached by Mike DeBoer. 